Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2008. So we are here with this problem 8 of your paper and we can say this problem is from the topic linear algebra otherwise it's a basic problem uh, you can you if you have just a basic knowledge of matrices you can solve this problem okay so let us firstly have a look on this problem what it says the least positive integer n such that this matrix to the power n is the identity matrix of order 2 is 4 8 12 16 so these are your four options you have to find out the least n for which this matrix that is given to you becomes the identity matrix so you got my point so there are two ways of solving this problem first one is just the basic knowledge of matrix multiplication and you can you are done with the question in one minute the second one is that is a knowledge of a, of a fact or you can say a result and using that result you can just solve it in one second okay so I will tell you both but firstly I will go with the basic way that we generally use for the multiplication and after that I will tell you that result and using that result you can solve it in just one second okay so now let us see how you should proceed so okay so firstly let me write your matrix as A matrix so it is given to you that your matrix A is actually cos pi by 4 sin pi by 4 minus sin pi by 4 cos pi by 4 okay so uh, this is your matrix now see you know already know the value of cos pi by 4 right it's 1 by root 2 it's sine pi by 4 is also 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 so what you can do you can take your 1 by root 2 outside of the matrix so now this will be a little bit easier for you to multiply are you getting my point now see firstly calculate a square okay so firstly see what options do you have you have 4 as your option, 8 as your options, 12 and 16. These are the 4 options. Now you have to find out the least n for which this matrix becomes the identity matrix. Okay. So for the least n, firstly you have to check whether 4 is the right number or not. That means you have to calculate a to the power 4. After that you have to calculate a to the power 8. After that you have to calculate a to the power 12 and a to the power 16 if none of them work. Are you getting my point or not? So directly you have to calculate a to the power 4. So a to the power 4 actually means you have to calculate a square dot a square. So firstly calculate a square for that matter. Now see if you will multiply this matrix with the um, a square means a dot a. So 1 by root 2 dot 1 by root 2 I am directly writing it. It will be 1 by 2. Now you have to just multiply these matrices 1 1. Uh, 1 1 minus 1 1 right now just multiply so you will get 1 minus 1 so you will get 0 here 1 by 2 is also there now in the in this side what you will get you will get 2 I think yeah you will get 2 and here you will get minus 2 and here you will get 0 are you getting my point or not so this is what you will get now see this 2 will be cancelled by just taking this 1 by 2 inside so what you will get you will get this thing now first number that you have to check is your a option that is a to the power 4 now a to the power 4 is just a square dot a square right so you have to multiply these this one so 0 1 minus 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 so if you will multiply what will happen then you will get this matrix uh, I think minus 1 and here you will get 0 and here you will again get 0 and for this one you will get minus 1 see so this is actually minus identity so you see a4 is minus identity so that means a option is incorrect 
Are you getting my point or not? Now let us check your B option. Since A4 is identity, that means A8 has to be true because A4 dot A4. This is what your A8 is. So minus identity into minus identity, you will end up with identity. So your B option is correct. Now since 8 is the 4 is not the smallest one uh, 4 for 4 you are not getting identity but for 8 you are getting identity now there is no other number in your options which is less than 8 therefore this 8 has to be true so see it is not taking much time you will just finish up with this question in just a minute are you getting my point or not so let me change my ink okay okay wait okay so that means this 4 is incorrect 8 is true 12 cannot be true and uh, uh, 16 cannot be true so now let me proceed with the result that i was talking earlier okay so this result hold only for the particular kind of matrix okay and this is the matrix that uh, we need so if you have this kind of matrix okay cos theta sin theta have you ever heard about the uh, rule in your class 12th about the de Moivre's theorem okay so if you know de Moivre's theorem it will be very easy for you to re remember this result what happens there okay in the in the complex case if you have this as your complex number then what happens if you will product this n times what will happen this n will come inside of it so what will happen cos n theta plus iota sin n theta this is what is called de Moivre's theorem right i hope you remember this from your class 12th now this is not our work but the similar thing we are going to do okay i'm telling you the result i'm not going to prove this thing so what happens here is exactly same you get this as cos n theta sin n theta minus sin n theta and cos n theta okay so now suppose you know this result okay this is your result that we are talking right now suppose this is your result now let us try to calculate your answer so will 4 work here what is your theta theta is pi by 4 so if you will place 4 in in, uh, in place of n what will happen you will get cos n pi cos n pi means what uh, not sorry cos n pi cos pi you will get if you will place n is equal to 4 theta is equal to pi by 4 so you will get uh, what you will get cos pi so cos pi is minus 1 so that will not work because in identity matrix the first entry is 1 now if you will place 8 here what will happen you will get 2 pi over here 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi and finally you will get that 8 is your correct answer are you getting my point or not so this is how we should proceed uh, in exam either you re remember the note if you don't re remember this note still you can proceed are you getting my point so thank you